Hey, this is Lucas. I'm here in the beautiful countryside of Colorado and uh, we're building a house of shipping containers. That's right, seven containers stacked on top of each other, turning into a beautiful net zero structure. Net zero means basically you don't pay utility bills. It means that the house produces the same amount of energy as it's using. We're building this house for just under $100 a square foot. This is well below the average custom home in the region. We're here in Colorado, the sun shines on us 310 days out of the year yeah. with gigawatts of power uh -huh. and we're just not using it. To me, it just doesn't make sense. So if I can build um, um, and not have to use natural gas, yeah. I'd rather use the energy which is around here for free. Yeah. Even though may maybe the system costs me more, yeah. but after 10 years, maybe even five years, I have a break-in point, and after that, I have free energy. Yeah. So the gas price can go up or down, and I don't care. Yes. Why do you build up with shipping containers? So the first reason was, I want to build it with just my friends. The structure I already was up after six weeks of work um, and just basically uh, three guys working not even full days. Yeah. And um, so that was one reason. The other reason is we have 26 tons of steel right here wow. um, in the whole building. In seven containers, um, we added some steel for structure, a structural reason to meet code. Um, so all that together has the heat capacity um, equal to 6,000 liters of water. That's more than, that's more than uh, I think 1,200 gallons of water or 20 times the air volume of this house has the same heat capacity. Wow. So if it's insulated nice on the outside mm -hmm. and uh, we have a hot summer day, we have this peak where we hit 78, maybe 82, in worst case 90 degrees Fahrenheit and um, what's going to happen is the air in here is going to warm up and the steel is going to absorb the heat because the steel is colder so the heat is going to get absorbed, absorbed by the steel and then during the cold cooler night it's, it's going to get released and, and with, with this amount of steel we, 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 we even that out so it's going to be a very flat curve of uh, temperature change. Wow. This is how the house currently looks like. It's still one big ugly thing, but uh, let me give you a glimpse on how it's gonna look uh, when we're all done. So, but I think now it's time to catch up. Let me show you what we did so far. First, we installed the well and brought in electricity so that we have the utilities on the site. After that, we excavated for the foundation and installed the footing. Then we went and picked up the ICF blocks for the foundation wall. Those ICF blocks are ideal for a highly insulated crawl space foundation. Once they were in place and rebar was set in, we filled it with concrete and waited a few days before we attached big I-beams to support the containers. But then it was time for the first containers to arrive. We instantly started with the modification. 
we used a plasma cutter to cut the openings. That went extremely well. It's amazing how effortless you can cut metal. And then we installed frames into the openings to meet code. Then it was time to stack those containers onto the foundation.